morning everybody, it's Leanne from Stamper Latte. I'm here to show you today how to make this sweet little box. Okay, you will need a piece of A5 cardstock in Sahara Sand. These banners here are from your Love Blossoms Designer Series paper stack. Alright, this gold heart and the and bow the is, from is from your Love Blossoms embellishment kit. Okay, we've got a piece of the um, Blushing Bride Glimmer Paper that we've cut out with And this heart. piece here is also from the Love Blossoms Design Series Paper Stack. Okay, so let's get started. So, what you'll need for your base box is a piece of A5 cardstock. This one's in Sahara Okay, Sand. so first of all what we need to do is we need to score our piece of cardstock. So we're just going to grab our Simply Scored and you'll need the metric plate for this. this the metric plate is just a, a board that sits inside with the metric measurements on it for us. Okay, so first of all what we're going to do, okay, so the first score you're going to do along the long side, okay, and that's at two and a half centimetres. Oops. then we're going to rotate that and then we're going to go uh, three centimeters ten centimeters thirteen centimeters thirteen and then twenty centimeters So I'll just go over those measurements again. We've got two, cent two and a half centimetres up, right? And then across we've got three centimetres, 10 centimetres, 13 centimetres, 20 centimetres. Okay, so that's all you need your board for. So I'll just pop that away. Okay, now before we do our burnishing, before we do our burnishing, we're going to do our stamping on our card. All we really need to do is to stamp these two wider panels because they'll be the front and the back of our little box. All right. So to do that, I'm using the um, Bloom and Love stamp set. And I'm just going to use this little stamp here just to give it a nice little little background. Okay. The other stamps that I've used for the little banner. Okay. I've used. I'll just grab it here. I've used this one here to do my banner, except I've turned it upside down, so that's okay. And then I've stamped the friend in the middle, and then I've cut that out. You can either cut that out with hand, it's not that hard to cut out by hand, but you can also use the, the little banner framelit out of the large numbers, which um, corresponds with the number of years stamp set. Okay, so that's that one there. So. We'll just grab our crumb cake ink pad. Okay, and then I'm just going to stamp. Randomly. Now, you've probably noticed that I'm stamping closer to the edges, and that's because our banners are going to come down the centre. So, as you can see, I've missed a few parts here, but that's okay because that will go behind my banner. So then I can choose this piece here to be the back of my box. Okay, so that's that for the stamping. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do our burnishing for all our score lines. So I just normally go along the bottom first. Okay, and then we'll do all our side pieces. Okay, so 
that's all done now. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to snip up to that line to create a bottom part of our box. Okay, and this piece here we're actually going to snip out. Now when I do this side piece, I like to do it on an angle, like so. Just so that when you put your piece together, it's not getting all clumped up at the side there. Alright, and then we're going to get our tape, our tear and tape, because this is strong enough for boxes, it's really cool. Okay, so I'll just put a piece of tape there, and our side join. Okay, and then we will flip it over and pop a piece just on the just on one of the wider flaps at the bottom and that will hold our box together. Okay, backing off that. All right. Now when I put my boxes together so that I get a nice straight join, I lay it down flat. Okay, and then you've got this little tab here that's got the sticky on there. All right. I'm just going to leave that out flat and then I'm going to pop that straight down like that so that everything remains square. Okay, so there's your little your little box. Okay, and then we just fold that down. Now you could make this in um you can make this box in designer series paper. So you wouldn't have to stamp on it if you didn't want to. It'd make it a sweet little gift box. Okay, so then just push your hand down inside. And just to give that a nice strong push. Then what we're going to do is we're going to push in at the middle and then just fold. Squish that in. Give it a nice tight fold. So there you've got your the makings of your standard box so you could just pop a hole in there and tie a bow on it and you could use that as like a little gift bag for you know your, your party gift bags and stuff like that so or even just you know a little gift for valentine's day put inside you know some pandora beads or whatever you wanted to do so that's a sweet little gift box so now we're going to decorate it okay so i've got these three strips here which I'm going to use in the triple banner punch okay, so I'm just going to slide that this one's two inches wide or five centimeters wide just slide it in as far as it will go and then punch same with this one now when you're doing this one just make sure that your hearts are facing the right way because you don't want your banner to be upside down hearts that would just be sad okay so we're just going to push that in as far as it will go and then we'll just line it up in the middle just move that up a bit for you okay in the middle and then punch it's that one and then the same again Again, making sure your hearts are going the right way. Okay. So there are pieces left over. Okay, so we're just going to grab our snail and we can just attach these whoops, three pieces together. So there you have your three pieces all stuck together okay so now what you can do is you can just grab your snail just put a couple of rows in the middle and then just attach that to the front of your box like so
and then we're going to get our our triple punch this is really cool this punch because it's got the little notch on it or you could do like corners for your cards as well so it's in the um, occasions catalog it's a bit sweet so you just push your box in as far as it will go right, and then just give it a good Okay, and let's just put your little notch in there so that you can then thread through your ribbon. Thread that through. And then just tie. Like so. And that will just hold your little gift bag closed. Okay, then what we need to do is... This little bow is from the love blossoms embellishment kit all right now it comes on a paper clip which is fine so what we're going to do is we're actually going to slide that onto the gold heart so we want it about there so we'll just slide that through like that okay so that just sort of sits that will sit on your piece like that but we'll just assemble this piece here so we've got our gold heart now this heart here I've cut out with my heart framelits and it's out of the blushing bride glimmer paper which is in the occasions catalog okay I'm just going to pop some dimensionals on the back of that just three is enough I said before you don't need to cover the whole piece okay so we'll just stick that over that but we want the bow so I might just pull that out a bit just pull your bow out a little bit before you stick your heart on okay. now the next heart over the top comes from this piece of paper out of your paper pack now it's not going to cut your heart out perfectly it'll just give you a little piece you can see how I've lined that up but it'll cut the heart of the flowers out but you get a little piece of the pattern paper around the edges as well okay so we'll pop that on with some dimensionals as well that goes in like so and then your little piece that you've cut out before just work out where you want it so you'll sort of know where you need to put your dimensionals behind so I sort of want them around about where the leaves are there okay and I've got some dimensionals. So I'm just going to pop it there. And there. Take them off the back. And stick that on there. Then pop this piece over. Okay. So again, just the three, right? But because this is a larger piece, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick one more dimensional in the middle just to stop it from dropping in the middle. Or collapsing, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Okay. Here's a little box. And then we're just going to position that on our box. Like so. And there you have your sweet little box that you've made. Now then you can just trim off the ribbons you can either do it 
diagonal like that or you can do your little fold it in half and cut towards the to do your little tails like that but I'm just going to cut mine on the diagonal like that and there is your little gift box ready to go okay so this one here I'd be inclined to use for Valentine's Day with the love you on there however this one is just for a friend so they, that you could work them for anything it doesn't have to be just because it's designed for Valentine's Day the the stamp set and everything like that doesn't mean you have to use it for Valentine's Day okay it's any any time you can give a friend a little box with some hearts and stuff you could even put heart chocolates inside that'd be a bit cute okay so thanks for stopping by today i hope you like this little gift box and you get some time to make some for yourself okay thanks hey if you want to play make it about a place it'll take creation imagination try to draw outside the line